Mr. Speaker, let me make this uh, a few comments. Mr. Speaker, this budget was presented by our colleague who is not a member of parliament, Honorable uh, Ken Ufuriata. I'm just wondering, when I see my colleagues from the other side giving him funds, whether Ghanaians can trust the lot here. In fact, Mr. Speaker, I still have here a news by City Newsroom. All MPP MPs now want Ken Ophoriata removed by majority leader. You didn't want the person to be the, the finance minister. Yet you read the budget, you are giving him funds. You cannot be trusted. None of you can be trusted. Because you cannot walk your talk. If you can be trusted, you should have asked. In fact, the day he was reading the budget, you should have left the room. So all of you, including even, even uh, the deputy uh, whip, didn't vote for, uh, for the president, I, I, how do you call it, vice president. So I'm saying that when you have a situation, the person who read the budget, you didn't want him to read the budget. The vice president who wanted to be your candidate, almost 40% of you rejected him. Yet you want him to be the one giving us the future. In fact, did you, in fact, he lost in your constituency, Honorable Lydia. So what is your point? The vice president lost in your constituency. I don't even know what you are standing up to do. Did he not lose in your constituency? He lost. He lost even uh, on our famous constituency. You and him didn't vote for him. As for majority leader, he probably voted for him because he wanted to be running me. But you didn't vote for him. You did not vote for him. So sit down, sit down. You can talk. You cannot talk. You, you talk. You sit down.